Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are in the Masters of the Wild from 3rd Edition D&D. We're continuing the Prestige class videos. The video we are doing today is the Eye of Grumpsh, which unless Grumpsh is in your uh, campaign, you might have to either add this as a demon god or modify your orcs to include this because Grumpsh is a... Uh, orc god in 3rd edition D&D. As far as I know, unless I'm wrong, which if I am, put it in the comments below, he didn't transition to uh, 4th and 5th edition, but I could be very wrong about that. So put that in the comments below and correct me if I am. But in Pathfinder, he doesn't exist. So if I was going to use this in Pathfinder, I need to create a kind of background for him and a reason for like more or less just import the third edition version in as something slightly different and just use this as is. Now we'll see if this is appropriate for say a Pathfinder game by going over everything and if it I would need to make it more powerful I'll let you know. So so most, uh, let's go over what the Eye of Grumpsh is. Most people think they've seen the worst that orcs can breed when an orc barbarian comes raging over a hilltop, at least until they see a one-eyed orc barbarian come raging over a hilltop. This creature may well be an Eye of Grumpsh, an orc so devoted to his evil deity that he has disfigured himself in Grumpsh name. So, the requirements. To qualify as an Eye of Grumpsh, a character must fulfill the following criteria. Race, you must be an orc or a half-orc. A character of another race who grows up among orcs may also adopt this prestige class if the DM permits. Which would be very interesting to see another race be an Eye of Grumpsh. So, alignment. Chaotic evil, chaotic neutral, or neutral evil. Base attack bonus, plus six. So you're going to need to be at least a six level barbarian. Feats, exotic weapon proficiency, orc double axe. Weapon focus, orc double axe. Special, the character must be a worshiper of Grumsh and must put out his own right eye in a special ritual. None of the eye of Grumsh special abilities function if he regains sight in both eyes. Now, as you level as a uh, Eye of Grumpsh, your hit dice is a d12, so you have a Barbarian's hit points coming to you. This is a 10 level prestige class, which is most normal prestige classes. Weapon and armor proficiencies, the Eye of Grumpsh are proficient with light and medium armor, shields, and all simple and martial weapons, which you should have from being a Barbarian. Class skills. The Eye of Grimpsh class skills are Intimidate, Jump, Ride, Swim. That's a very short list. Uh, skill points at each level is 2 plus Intelligence modifier. I would widen that list in my game by giving them access to the Barbarian's list of skills minimum, which I believe has more than that on it, and that would be it. That would be the only change I'd make. Okay. So now let's look at the table and see what all you get on the table, and then we'll go back and we'll read in greater detail what some of those abilities are. Your base attack bonus starts at a plus one. It's the best base attack bonus in the game, so it's a fighter or barbarian's base attack bonus. Every level it goes up by one point. This stacks with your existing base attack bonus, so anytime that total number on, say, your barbarian table or your fighter table shows you you would have two attacks, you have the two attacks at those bonuses. Uh, your fortitude save is your best save. It starts at a plus two. By 10th level, it'll be a plus seven. This would be your best save, similar to any other class that you start at a plus two. By 10, le 10 levels of that class, you would be at a plus seven. Your reflex and your will save are your worst saves. So any class that would have you starting at a plus zero save in that uh uh, save would end up as a plus three by the time you're seventh level. It is not your class's strong suit. It's not your best saves. 
At first level, you get Blind Fight, Follow Orders Blindly, and Rage. At second level, you get Swing Blindly. At third level, you get Ritual Scarring, plus one. At fourth level, you get Blinding Spittle, once per hour. At fifth level, you get Blind Sight and Five Foot Radius. Blind Sight, probably add a Five Foot Radius. It, the way they have it broken up on the table is a little weird. At 6th level, you get Ritual Scarring, plus 2. At 7th level, you get Blinding Spittle, 2 per hour. At 8th level, you get Blind Sight, 10 foot radius. At ninth level, you get Ritual Scarring, plus 3. And at 10th level, you get Sight of Groomsh. So, Blind Fight functions like the Blind Fight feat. That's pretty straightforward. But follow orders blindly. At first level, the Eye of Grumsh may grant a plus two morale bonus on will saves to any non-good orcs or half orcs with hit dice lower than his character level within 30 feet of him. Any recipient who is willingly goes against the Eye of Grumsh direction loses this bonus immediately. Using this ability as a standard action, and the effect lasts for one hour per Eye of Grumsh level. Rage. Also, at first level, the Eye of Grumsh gains the ability to rage as a barbarian of a level equal to the total of his barbarian uh, and Eye of Grumsh levels. Thus, a barbarian level 14 and Eye of Grumsh level 2 could use rage five times per day. That's a third edition rule, so uh, for Pathfinder, your levels of Eye of Grumsh uh, would stack with your barbarian levels and with your as far as unlocking what barbarian abilities you get, uh, they stack level-wise. You just don't get those specials from this prestige class is how I would rule that. But when you go to take your barbarian and says that you need to be like a 12th level barbarian to get access to these rage powers, when you get rage powers, you could qualify as that even though you're only like, say, a 6th level barbarian and most of your levels are I have groups. Uh, ritual Scarring. Through frequent disfiguration of his own skin, the Eye of Grumsh gains a plus one natural armor bonus at third level. This bonus increases by plus one for every three Eye of Grumsh levels gained thereafter. So it goes up to a plus three. So assuming you get medium armor... I would probably double that bonus from ritual scarring be a plus two and go up two points every level so at most it'd be a plus six natural armor and by the time it's a plus six if you didn't level any in barbarian and and continued to just level an eye of grumsh you would be level uh 15 so yes that bonus sounded high but for a level 15 character that's not a very high bonus to armor Swing blindly. At second level, the Eye of Grumsh gains an additional plus two bonus on his strength score while raging. While this ability is in effect, the character provokes attacks of opportunity as though he were casting a spell whenever he takes any kind of attack action. So for provoking attacks of opportunity, you get an extra two to your strength. So your attack bonus goes up by at least one point. And your damage goes up at least by one point. Depends on the type of weapon you're wielding for damage. Blinding Spittle. The Eye of Grumsh can launch Blinding Spittle at any opponent within 20 feet using a ranged touch attack at a minus four penalty. He spits his stomach acid into the target's eye. An opponent who fails a reflex save DCs 10 plus the Eye of Grumsh level plus the Eye of Grumsh constitution bonus, is blinded until he or she can rinse away the spittle. This attack has no effect on creatures that don't have eyes or don't depend on vision. Blinding spittle is usable once per hour at 4th level and twice per hour at 7th level. So it's a ranged touch attack, 20 feet, that's pretty close, and twice per hour, unless you're in a ton of combats back-to-back. That could still be beneficial. I'd leave that alone. 
Blindsight. At fifth level, the Eye of Grumsh gains Blindsight five foot radius. This ability otherwise is identical to the hearing based version described in the introduction to the Monster Manual. Its range increases to 10 feet at eighth level. So essentially, you would be able to fight anyone without sight that's around you within five feet to 10 feet when you're eighth level. And you would retain your AC against those things when caught flat-footed, because you wouldn't be technically flat-footed. Sight of Grumsh. At 10th level, the Eye of Grumsh sees the moment of his own death through his missing eye. This foreknowledge gives him a plus two morale bonus on all saving throws from then on. Whether or not the vision is accurate is irrelevant. The character believes it to be true. And then there's uh, information on the organization of the Eye of Grumsh. Listed after that. I will save the reading of that since unless you all would like me to do a video of that, I will save that and not do that for now. So the side of Grumps just boosts the saves. I'd probably do something else at 10th level to boost up 10th level. Let's bring rage back. Let's give you some rage powers. Say at fifth level, and at first level, fifth level, and tenth level, you get rage powers like you would from Barbarian. Now, your levels stack as far as what powers you have access to, but that also determines what you're limited to choose from. And that would be the only other change I would do. Maybe I'd give you one more rage power when, whenever you get blind sight, which you get also at fifth level. You would get it also at uh, eighth level. So that would be, you would end up with one, two, three, four, four rage powers from this prestige class. That would be taken from your normal barbarian rage powers. So let me all know what changes you would make to, to this prestige class in the comments below for Pathfinder. Let me know if you enjoyed the Eye of Grumsh prestige class. Until we all game again, guys.